Ooh, it's a good day for a TJ Maxx how to shop all my tips and secrets. Well, here I am following my number one tip, get to TJ Maxx early. I've got some good stuff for us today. We are gonna get in there, we are gonna do this thing, and we are gonna have some fun. You know, this was one of the most requested video topics um, from you. So keep requesting, keep sharing your tips. This is a community of super shoppers. So let's make this happen. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and like to support my channel, give me a thumbs up subscribe and know that I love you and I love shopping with you and we're gonna have some fun today so just a quick note some people like my husband cannot stand going into these types of stores because there seems to be this perception that these stores are filled with damaged goods things that you know might be irregular so to speak but it just isn't so. These retailers like a TJ Maxx and Marshalls swipe in to the designer sellers and buy the leftover goods that bigger brand stores didn't purchase. That's why the hunt is so important. So to start, I just wanna say, if you want to do TJ Maxx justice, you need to take your time. I want you to grab a cup of coffee, maybe some sparkling water, and I want you to enjoy the experience. Just really enjoy it. There's so much to find, especially if you like looking for a deal. Okay, so legit tip number one. It is not when to show up that I think is most important when we look at these tips. It is where to show up. So not all stores are created equal. If you have multiple TJ Maxx's in your area, I want you to start paying attention. Some stores will have better selection of things than others. Beeline for the stores with the runway. The runway is going to be cited by a big purple sign. And what it's saying is these are sort of their high-end exclusive designer goods are all going to be deeply discounted. I'm not telling you that just because I want you to shop the runway because a lot of times these items are still really expensive. But I want you to find these stores because the selection of items in these stores tends to be better. Even if you don't want the higher-end clothing, you might see more boutique brands or things from places like Free People deeply discounted here in these stores. If there's not a runway section, it's still uh, worth tapping into all the rest of my tips, but these runway stores, I think, seem to be the best. Okay, tip number two, falling in love with something, but it's not your size. So I have a couple versions of this tip because this is really, I think what's most important, it's like you laser in on the perfect item and you pick it up and it's an extra small and you need a medium or large or an extra large maybe, or it's an extra large and you need an extra small. It's the worst, am I right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to walk over to the rack corresponding to the item. It works in every section, I promise. And I want you to search through every piece, even outside of your size. So those long racks, they're normally right behind the contemporary. For some reason, the brand new items sometimes get thrown back into these racks. And I tend to stay away from these long racks of clothes because my eyes are always wanting to go to the new stuff. But let me just tell you, this is sometimes where you can find your size. And so that's my in-store tip. If you find something in the new or even in the runway, don't be afraid to go into these long laborous racks and look through every size because there's so many moments I find that thing. So this leads me into tip number three, the store brand hunt. So again, falling in love with an item that's not in your size, it's not in the long rack. Melissa, you led me astray. Let me tell you, this is my favorite tip of all. It requires a little bit of work, but if you're a super shopper looking for a super deal on a top or a bottom or a shoe or a beauty item or home item that you absolutely love, um, I don't know if this one's obvious, but this is what I do. Find your item. I normally will take a picture of it. Sometimes I'll even purchase it just to make sure I know exactly what it looks like. And then I want you to, to go to the nearest Marshalls a few times that week or the following. But if you're shopping TJ Maxx or Marshalls, by the way, it's the same company. I think most people know that. But if you don't, TJ Maxx and Marshalls are owned by one another. So they're very similar. All these tips will work at Marshalls as well. The thing about TJ Maxx, though, is sometimes TJ Maxx gets things 
and Marshalls gets the exact same things, just different colors. Uh, let me just tell you, I found the most amazing dupe J. Crew sweater blazer. It's in one of my videos. That sweater blazer is something like $175 in store. No joke, I walked in and there was a brand duping it. It was the exact, exact same material, same everything. And it was about $29. Well, they didn't have my size. So I cried for a minute and then I turned around and went right to the nearest Marshalls. Walked in, they had three other colors. It's all the same company. It's all going there. Hunt at a different store and find that item. There's something really powerful when you know what you're looking for in the TJ Maxx Marshalls company brand. When you know what's on the floor and you go look for it, it's a lot easier to walk into the mess of racks and find it. So hunt in your area at Marshalls as well as TJ Maxx for that item that you find. And I hope you find your size. Okay, my next tip, go regularly. They get new things in, I think, five times a week, if not more. So here's my tip around regularity and when to go. Number one, never go on a Monday. It is in my opinion, the worst day as everything's been picked through all weekend. Deliveries for the week haven't happened. So when to go Tuesday through Friday mornings are really best or after work. I don't know about you, but there's some days I've gone after 6 PM and I see the associates rolling out racks of new things. It's like, boom, lucky girl. You know, one quick note about weekends too. If you are going to go on a weekend, go first thing Saturday morning. There have been a lot of weekends on Saturdays where I've seen new things have come out. So just a quick little tip if weekdays are bad for you. Okay. Tip number five, grab what you might like, even when in doubt. You're cruising through the store. You're thinking, oh, that's good. Maybe I'll come back for it. Don't. Grab it. Put it in your cart. Things fly off the rack at TJ Maxx, especially for those people who know and frequent the store often that the deals fly in and then they're gone. They just disappear. So I often won't try on anything in store. I really prefer to take it home to my own mirror and make the decision. The return policy is 30 days and TJ Maxx just started emailing receipts. Hallelujah. Grab it, try it, think about it and return it if it doesn't work. Okay. Tip number six, clearance. So Clearance isn't my favorite place to frequent like it is at Nordstrom Rack. I know it's a shocker, but if you are going to be looking for a really amazing deal, there's two places that I would direct you. The first is Runway. This is why I want you to find your Runway store. Pay attention. And if you go to your store regularly, keep checking back to that Runway clearance because the moment it goes to clearance, obviously it gets grabbed. Also ask a sales associate if something's been marked down. I've heard this tip before and I've done it a few times, but you might sometimes see the associates marking things down. It's not in the system. They have to mark it down on the tag for you to get the clearance price. Price. And sometimes these things aren't labeled. You could find yourself getting a major discount this way. The other area of clearance I want to point you to that I think is really good is shoes. Shoes are the best place I see most often to find a deal. Um, I have noticed that shoes are mainly where those online returns go and they get marked down pretty quick. So check it out, go through all the sizes and shoes because things do get put back in the wrong place. And you know, a lot of people will buy these shoes online and the store will automatically mark them down and put them in clearance. You guys, I could just keep shopping and shopping the shoe aisle today. It's unbelievable, look at these. When do you see rag and bone at TJ Maxx shoes on clearance? Suede espadrilles, how cute are these? The price, the price tag on this is $9. Okay, tip number seven. I'm gonna dedicate this whole tip to the online TJ Maxx experience. So if you haven't ever shopped TJ Maxx online, I want to warn you, you cannot search for brands. I honestly don't know why they do all of this, but they do. So 
You have to pull out your high school English skills and get descriptive with your items to see if you can find it online. Chances are not great. I'm just going to warn you, but if you check online enough, it will show up. A trend I've seen is sometimes if it's a new arrival in store, it has not hit online yet. So you need to check back. A lot of people will say TJ Maxx online is horrible. They don't carry the same items, but I'll be honest, like going back to that J Crew blazer dupe that I found, it eventually hit online. It was just like a month later. So keep checking back. Be on site regularly if you're trying to locate an item. But I really like going back and doing kind of the hunt online because that way you have potentially more colors you could choose from. You also have more sizes. Okay, tip number eight. This one's personal to some of my favorite items that I regularly find in stores depending on the season. So fall is truly my favorite time of year in the TJ Maxx athletic wear section. I'll make this quick because you can watch my last video to hear more about this Kyonin brand, but look for their stuff. Their stuff is really, really good. Uh, sometimes occasionally you can find Mondetta as well. Uh, both these brands are very similar to Lululemon or some of the higher end brands. But I'm going to tell you my biggest hunt in the fall is for athletic vests that come out. I could go to Lululemon and spend up to $200 on a really good athletic vest, but there have been so many years I have found such a beautifully detailed, high quality um, Mondetta, Kyoden, um, beyond sort of vest at unbelievable quality for around $25, which is so nice to supplement your wardrobe with. So if you're interested as well, keep your eyes peeled the moment the fall collection starts dropping. This year, I didn't see as many vests, but I saw a lot of amazing jackets, all very similar similar to the ones in the more high-end stores. Okay, you guys, this candle, sand and fog. California Citron smells exactly like the Anthropology Volcano Candle. This one's $12.99, Anthropology's $30. You've got to look for this one. Yay! All right, last tip. Let's talk about making time for the departments and finding the treasures, especially in beauty. So let me just tell you, if it's a bad day in denim, it's certain to be a good day for beauty. <laughs> so this is why I started with this tip to make time for all the departments because sometimes we walk in thinking we need a good pair of white jeans and we forget to go to the beauty department. But I wanna direct you back to all things beauty. Uh, if you are a beauty girl, it is going to behoove you to take your time and go through the beauty department. There are so many treasures kind of hidden behind bottles and brushes and mascaras. So take your time and go through it. Here's what I find though. I normally find that the most expensive brands of beauty items that are marked down are at the front by the registers. They're smart. I just got a $200 um, bottle of moisturizer for like $50. And you can sometimes get off mm, up to 80% on brands like Strivectin, Bare Essentials, tons of others. So you need to take your time to go through, go with a plan, know what brands you love, and look carefully all over the store. Beauty's going to be in the beauty department, but like I said, it could be at the very front by the registers as well. Definitely go through every department because different items are stocked at different times. So enjoy yourself, make this an experience and have fun. I love hearing from you in the comments. I love it. So comment below if you've got your own tips, please let us all know. We're all super shoppers on this channel, so we need every tip we can get and I wanna hear what you have to say. So oh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you wanna support this channel and subscribe, share with your friends. If there's anything else you wanna see me shop, let me know and here's to finding some really good deals today.